I'll focus on two major things today in a bit more detail. And then I'll give a shorter than usual quarterly snapshot from across our business. First, how we unlock the incredible opportunities AI enables for consumers, our partners, and for our business. And second, how we focus our investments and make necessary decisions as a company to get there. First, the AI opportunity ahead. AI is the most profound technology we are working on today. Our talented researchers, infrastructure, and technology make us extremely well positioned as AI reaches an inflection point. More than six years ago, I first spoke about Google being an AI first company. Since then, we've been a leader in developing AI. In fact, our Transformers research project and our field defining paper in 2017 as well as our path-breaking work in diffusion models are now the basis of many of the generative AI applications you're starting to see today. Translating these kinds of technical leaps into products that help billions of people is what our company has always thrived on. Everyone working on the various projects underway is excited. We'll pursue this work boldly, but with a deep sense of responsibility. With our AI principles, and the highest standards of information integrity at the core of all our work. We've been preparing for this moment since early last year, and you're gonna see a lot from us in the coming few months across three big areas of opportunity. First, large models. We published extensively about Lambda and Palm, the industry's largest, most sophisticated model, plus extensive work at DeepMind. In the coming weeks and months, we'll make these language models available, starting with Lambda, so that people can engage directly with them. This will help us continue to get feedback, test and safely improve them. These models are particularly amazing for composing, constructing, and summarizing. They will become even more useful for people as they provide up-to-date, more factual information. And in search, language models like Bert and Mum have improved search results for four years now, enabling significant ranking improvements and multimodal search like Google Lens. Very soon, people will be able to interact directly with our newest, most powerful language models as a companion to search in experimental and innovative ways. Stay tuned. Second, we'll provide new tools and APIs for developers, creators, and partners. This will empower them to innovate and build their own applications and discover new possibilities with AI on top of our language, multimodal, and other AI models. Third, our AI is a powerful enabler for businesses and organizations of all sizes, and we have much more to come here. There's a few flavors of this. Google Cloud is making our technological leadership in AI available to customers via our Cloud AI platform, including infrastructure and tools for developers and data scientists like Vertex AI. We also offer specific AI solutions for sectors like manufacturing, life sciences, and retail, and will continue to roll out more. Workspace users benefit from AI-powered features like Smart Canvas for collaboration, and Smart Compose for creation. And we are working to bring large language models to Gmail and Docs. We'll also make available other helpful generative capabilities from coding to design and more. And for our advertising partners, Philip will discuss in detail how AI is powering dramatic campaign improvements and value adding features for them. Of course, in addition to all this, AI also continues to improve Google's other products dramatically. And we'll continue our work with others outside Google, including joint research collaborations to develop AI responsibly and to apply AI to tackle society's greatest challenges and opportunities. For example, DeepMind's protein database of all 200 million proteins known to science have now been used by 1 million biologists around the world. We continue to invest in AI across the board, and Google AI and DeepMind are integral to a bright AI-first future. 
over the past few years, DeepMind has been increasingly working across groups within Google and the other beds. And to reflect that progress, we'll be making a financial reporting change that Ruth will share more about in her comments. We are just at the beginning of our AI journey, and the best is yet to come. Um, for Sundar, can you just talk more about how you can bring the AI products to market with the principles and integrity that you talked about and how you can do that without kind of sacrificing quality or trust along the way? And then, um, Ruth, uh, clearly the language around re-engineering the cost structure in a durable way and everything that went along with it is, is different than what we've heard in the past. Um, is there any way at all to help us quantify how you're thinking about these efforts? Thanks. Thanks, Doug. Uh, on the AI side, you know, it is it is a really exciting time. Uh, I think we've been investing for a while, and it's clear that uh, the market is ready. Uh, consumers are interested in trying out new experiences. Uh, I think I feel comfortable with all the investments we have made in making sure we can develop AI responsibly. And we'll we'll be careful. We'll be launching, uh, you know, we'll more as labs products in certain cases, uh, beta features in certain cases, uh, you know, and just slowly scaling up from there. Obviously, you know, we need to make sure we are iterating in public. Uh, these models will keep getting better, so the field is fast changing. Uh, the serving costs will need to be improved. So I view it as uh, very very early days. But we are committed to putting our experiences, uh, both uh, both in terms of new products and experiences, actually bringing uh, direct LLM experiences in search, uh, making APIs available for developers and and enterprises, and 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 learn from that and iterate like we've always done. So I'm looking forward to it. 